Hey, hey, I think we're recording and everything. We're ready to go here, I think. This is the pop-up program. Hello, oh, I'm having my coffee. Mm. Mm. And uh, we've got a whole bunch of people here. Let me, let me just, uh, first I want to take this. And I want to lower this off. And uh, let me make sure one other thing here, just to make sure we're all okay. All right, here we go. There we go. Uh, yeah, there we go. And uh, okay, we're, uh, we're, we're, we're on. Okay, and now I've got to start admitting people uh, to our um, panel. And there are a lot of people waiting today. Okay, here we go. Admit all. Okay, so let's see what happens with them. There they are. All oh, the boom, 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 boom. Wow. That's a lot at one time. Oh, uh, uh, Steve? Yeah. Sideways on your iPhone. Yeah, there you go. That's better. He's out on the road right now. We got uh, Mike Chisholm. Hello, Mike. How are you? You're up in Canada, right? You betcha, Western Canada. Nice to see you again, Alex. Okay, and uh, there's uh, Steve Bender. Hello, Steve. He's on a bender right now. Uh, uh, uh. Ed Edward Berger, the cartoon voice. That we That's right. So well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Jeff Stein, uh, who's up in Connecticut, where it's infected as hell. <laughs> uh, Rick Sheckman, who's out in Queens, where it's also likewise infected as hell. <laughs> My school was closed today. Was it really? Apparently, I read they had two COVID cases. Oh, really? So they closed for at least 24 hours. And Andrew Deutsch, who was out there in Ohio, right? In Cleveland. Cleveland, Ohio. Right. Oh, hey, here's come some more people. Wow. We're getting a lot of people today, and Marjorie hasn't even signed in yet. Uh, Scott Boddicker and uh, Charlie Wallace have also joined us. Mm -hmm. uh, Boy, this is better. This is more people than we get on the nighttime show these days. So, what That's because the we're awake. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I got it so that we're on for everybody today. There's a little thing you got to flip here that says, uh, it says only me. It defaults to only me. Mm -hmm. I'm, uh, hey, I'm a little heavier today than I was yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, my, my, my uh, what do you call it? My uh, uh, tooth. Infant is now in right there yeah. ah. i don't i i can't vote for trump any longer i have all my teeth now <laughs> older huh are you older am i older not yet not, not yet. yet not till not till not what? Yet. this is the 15th this is the 14th 14th yeah uh, this is the 14th so four days from now which is 18th Friday. Friday. Shecky's a year older than he was a couple of weeks ago. Yes. Yes, he's of Medicare age now. Uh, that's a mere babe. Uh, that's a mere babe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And congratulations, everybody. We 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 were going for a, we were going for a goal and we made it. Okay, three hundred thousand deaths. Let's hear yep. it for the United yeah. States of America. No. So problem. much winning. Nobody can, nobody can outdo us. Oh boy! Yeah, but thank God the mayor of New York got a COVID shot today. Oh, did oh did he get one? That's what I read. He jumped the line. Oh, geez, Almighty! See, he shouldn't be allowed to jump the line. I don't think Cuomo's jumping the line. He said, "I don't think so." No, he's just hitting up on women. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's his right. <laughs> You know something? You look at Mario, you look at Andrew Cuomo, rather. You look at Andrew Cuomo, and, and the woman who is accusing him is what? Running for mayor? Running for mayor, yes. Running for mayor of New York. And she says that he constantly uh, was it abused. What, what did he do to her? No, like hit on her, I believe. <clears throat> okay. In her mind. I mean, again, I wasn't there as Are usual. Right, but she's also running for mayor of New York. Like, she doesn't say he raped her, slept with her, they went out, any of those kind of things. He just sexually harassed me, whatever that means. Order. Wait, wait a minute. Uh, hold on a second. I want to know something. We're, we haven't got a woman here yet since Marjorie hasn't called yet. But um, uh, if, if you, if you, let's say you, you like a woman, 
or you look nice today, Miss X or Mrs. X or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Bitch. But also, <laughs> what woman in New York that I know of that at least is worth her worth in salt hasn't been hit on. No, wouldn't like to be hit on by my, by Andrew Cuomo, right? Good looking guy, governor of New York, uh, has a nice personality, you know? I mean, he- But he had funny. that chef girlfriend at the time. He had what? That woman who was a TV chef he was living with. At the time. Oh, oh, yeah, who was that? At that time. Do you remember who whose she name was? I can't remember? Yeah, yeah. Um, I can't remember her name. Yeah. Well, how dare he cheat on his girlfriend who he was going with? <laughs> you know. Yeah, Mr. Trump never did. <laughs> yeah, who might say that perhaps he is the most eligible bachelor in the country? Right? Well, after me. After you. <laughs> <laughs> What about Shia LaBeouf? He's apparently very eligible. Shia LaBeouf? I oh, he's got two girls now. <laughs> he sexually attacked them. Oh, okay. Two dudes did yeah. they take. You know, I um, I don't, I, I'm, I keep trying, you know, I always keep trying to think, is there anybody that would accuse me of these things from my past? Well, if asking a girl out is sexual harassment, then I've been guilty for years. Oh, you're going to get the death penalty. <laughs> you know. Um, no, I, the problem now is how they feel about it, though. See, if yeah. they like you, hey, no problem at all. But if there's something there where you're oblivious to a, a, a distaste in any way, well, now they have leverage to, uh, to create some sort of trouble. Well, I think it is their obligation. Correct me if I'm wrong on this. If I propose that we go out together or I'd say somewhat semi because that would be considered I guess hitting on you okay yeah. by some people if you don't say stop it then mm. I guess that's my permission to keep going isn't it I mean how do I how do guys meet women anymore yeah you know they can't even ask them out because they might be accused of sexual harassing them you could, I think you could ask them out outside of the workplace, though, not in the workplace. Yes, but again, you know, the the, the question is, uh, um, uh, what 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 is hitting on them? Here comes Bob B. Q. I just, oh, <laughs> there we go. There, hey, we got this. This is Kathleen, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> An ex, oh, uh, an, an ex. Uh, you can speak about it then. An, uh, yeah, she's talking. Uh, did speaking I ever, hitting on women? Wait a minute. Hope, speaking of hitting on women, did I ever sexually harass you? No. Okay. <laughs> Are you upset he didn't? Did I ever? No. <laughs> did I ever make a uh, 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 bad approach or something to you? In other words, no, no, as a matter of fact, I was telling Sean today, we went for a walk. And so we're walking along and all of a sudden, and I was on the outside, the curbside, and he took me and he gently pushed me over and took over the curbside. And I told him, man, you would make Alex proud. Yeah, did I always do that? <laughs> always. I always did that. My father always told me that you, you, when you were walking with a woman, uh, yep. Um, when you're walking with a woman, hello, dear, how are you? Hi. Y yeah, there, there, there's the current woman I'm harassing. Uh, <laughs> all the time. All, all the time. All the time. Um, uh, uh, but uh, my father always told me, when you're walking down the street with a woman, walk on the outside, Okay. Because, yep. you know, it's an old thing because, you know, carriages would come along and splash water. And so you as the man would be protecting the water from woman from splashing. I found out in England, though, you're supposed to walk on the inside because the tradition started because people were dumping water out of windows. <laughs> <laughs> or something else out of windows. Yeah, or something else out of windows, exactly. <laughs> Nothing's changed. Yeah. So, so Alex, carrying them piggyback is, wasn't what I was supposed to be doing? No, not at all. 
his, <laughs> however, you could give him the Sir Walter Raleigh treatment <laughs> and uh, put your cape down in a puddle. Uh, but how many of you guys here would actually put your cape down for a woman in a puddle? How many guys here would have a cape? Alex would have to carry her across the water. Right, exactly. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, what we're talking about is we're talking about the uh, uh, gentlemanly manner. And my father always told me, be a gentleman, okay? So, uh, but I'm just trying to think, is there any woman I knew that would accuse me of having sexually harassed them like they did with Cuomo? Uh, for instance, Marjorie, let me ask you this. Uh -oh. If Mario Cuomo came on to you, huh? would you would you consider that uh, harassment or would you say, hey, Mario Cuomo just hit on Here me. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I have a little crush on him, I have to admit. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So how's everything out in California? You're pretty, you're, uh, you're pretty in pretty bad shape out there with the Corona, right? Uh, yep. Marjorie? Oh. Oh, Except. I mean, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Bob BQ. Uh, Actually, I take that as a compliment. Yeah, Kathleen, it's pretty bad out there, right? Yeah. And, but you know what? It's like, I don't know, these people here. Is your kid going to school? No, uh -uh. he hasn't gone to school since March, so he's on distance learning, which he likes. Um, but no, this lockdown is different. Everybody's still out and about. Really? Yeah. How's that a lockdown then? The, it, it isn't. <laughs> they say, you ready for this, Shecky? Where is Shecky? Oh, there he is. Yeah. I had to go find you because we have so many people today. <laughs> there he is. Uh, uh, Shecky was... Um, um, uh, it lives in New York, and in New York, our mayor, who you love, oh. has, has said now that he's going to close down the entire city. Just put the whole. Well, city they're starting in. by the restaurants today. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. COVID can't go out to lunch anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but well, can you I, still go and can you still order food and go pick it up from yeah. the restaurant? Yeah, like and you can, I think, still eat outside yeah. if you want to, but it's snowing yeah. today. <laughs> or it snows on Wednesday, yeah. 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 Uh, you, you can still eat outside, uh, but you can, they, no indoor dining any longer. Um, you know, and I, I'm quite, and then the mayor says he's going to close everything down, period. That's it. Yeah, but you can still go to the bowling alley, but you can't have indoor dining. Okay. <laughs> Well, it's because COVID doesn't like bowling. And you can go to the gym and you can, and you know, whatever. Yeah. Well, the, the COVID has no intention of working out. Mm. You know, I mean, I just don't get any of this. Does any of it make sense to you, Marjorie? Nothing, right? I'm, I'm still deciding. Today, I go to my dentist to go get my tooth done. And uh, I go to the dentist. And as I'm going down in the elevator, a woman gets in, and she doesn't have a mask on. And I was debating on whether to tell her, uh, I'm going down, you're staying I'll send, here. I'll send it, <laughs> yeah. I'll send, I'll send I'll send it back up to up. you. Right. You should, you should have. He didn't. I didn't. I, I was, wouldn't let someone I did, that I did one of these numbers over my mask. Yeah. You know. uh, did you stand on the curbside, or? <laughs> <laughs> Well, here's the thing I don't get, okay? <laughs> and Charlie, since you're the black guy here, since you're the official Negro, uh, <laughs> for everyone. Uh, I want you to tell me if I'm wrong on this. But today I'm watching MSNBC, and they're having a discussion about how blacks are reticent to get the vaccine because of past history of black... What? Well, and rightfully so. Wait a minute, wait a minute. as being yeah. used as... as, as um, test Give me pictures. Uh, yeah. guinea pigs for uh, 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 any number of things. Uh, and I understand that, okay? I can understand that there's a reticence because of history to get the vaccine. I don't understand the reticence to wear a mask. <laughs> I just don't get it. It makes no sense to me. You're only talking about one community. Well, no, well, I'm, I'm talking about what I see out on the street. In our community. 
I mean, uh, but and, the, the Upper East Side, the West Side. But they say that blacks are. Here's what masks. they say, though: the blacks are dying in a disproportionate measure <laughs> to whites. Twice the rate, yeah. Twice the rate. Does that have to do with the fact that they're not wearing masks, well, or that sure. somehow medical care isn't good enough? Well, part of it has to do with the medical care, but they're not wearing <laughs> masks. And if you're not wearing a mask, don't complain to me that you're dying in a disproportionate amount. Well, am I wrong, Charlie? No, I mean, I, I, I agree that, that, that that's probably a huge co uh, contributor to the death rate among Blacks. Yeah. But I think also a huge contributor is a lot of, a lot higher percentage of Blacks don't have health insurance, and so they don't go to the doctor right oh, away. Yes, you've got that too. But uh, you would think that if they knew they were dying in disproportionate m amounts, they would say, well, the one thing we can do is wear a mask. That doesn't cost any money. You can go down to the subway, they'll give you a free mask. You know, they'll give you hand yeah. sanitizer too. That would make Scott, sense. Scott, you said something there? Well, I just said, wow, I didn't know you get free mask in New York. I'll, I'll move. Oh, yeah, no, you, <laughs> you know, right, Marjorie, you got your compliment. It, it's like, you know, when you go to the dentist and you get your teeth cleaned, I always wondered about this. The, 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 the uh, hygienist gives you a little bag. With with a toothbrush, and, a toothbrush toothpaste and, and, a dental and, floss. and a small amount of toothpaste and so dental floss and dental floss. So I wonder if when I run out of all of that stuff, which would be in about a week, we if I no longer have to brush my bags. teeth or floss any longer. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they give you that complimentary amount. So it's kind of the same thing with the masks and the two ounce thing of. Um, some of the doctors, doctor. some of the doctors at Mount Sinai, when you walk in, they say, here, put this mask on. They give you another mask. You have to take your mask yeah, off. But they didn't like your mask. You had one of those. <clears throat> it's not, I had some of them that were the hospital, you know, surgeon kind, the blue they don't ones. Want you to use the, they don't want you to have the fashion masks. They want they you to have the not even, No, no. They don't even, if you, even if you walk in with the surgical one, they want you to put on a new mask. Really? And okay. so you do. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Never have enough masks. Yeah. But anyway, so I'm, I just think that uh, if, if blacks are dying in disproportionate amounts, uh, I think that the best way they can prevent from getting it without going, <laughs> without going. <laughs> yeah, you, you. No, I don't wear that out. I don't. Well, you, your cheeks are sure rosy. Uh, <laughs> What do you use that for? You must use that. When I, was at, when I was at Costco in the warehouse, we had to wear masks. But the mask that they were giving us, my glasses would fog up. So what's nice about this one is it's got a nice big cup. So what happens is when I breathe in, they my people next to me would hear a pop. The pop was the valve. Yeah, the valve closing and allowing air to go into this. And when I'd exhale, you'd hear the other two valves pop. Well, my abusive a friend of mine, I call my abusive husband, ran up behind me one day and literally covered this and I couldn't breathe. Oh, he, did it, he did it real quick and then he took it off. And he goes, that thing really works. And I go, hey, 99.9%. Mm. I, have, I have one of those, uh, uh, one of those uh, black death masks. You know, with the pointy thing. Um, those are fun. I like yes. wearing that out. Uh, but uh, anyway. I use a mask like hers when I work in my wood shop, so I don't breathe sawdust. Yeah. Really? Oh. Okay. They make those with different filters. Some are for sawdust. Some are for chemical. Paint. Yeah. You swap out the filters for what you're doing. So would that protect you from COVID? Though? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh okay. But I mean, ones that keep out sawdust would not have to be as filtery as it were. Oh no, they, they need to be because the, yeah. it's the microparticles of sawdust that, that you can't see that'll kill you. They get in your lungs. That's a word I just invented, you know, micro we enough. <laughs> micro we. Yeah. Yeah, look, COVID's huge, see? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you something else for a moment here because Shecky sent me a list today. Of movies. You mean the 25 crappiest films ever made? Well, wait a minute. Well, oh, explain what this like is. This. this is the, the latest uh, uh, inductees yes. into the, the United National States film registry. film registry. I read that. And how many films are there already on the film registry? 
Oh God, it must be a thousand, I would bet by now. Okay, and something. every year, every year they do another twenty-five, and that means they're supposed to what? Preserve those films or something? No, <laughs> they just make an announcement and do a TV special. Oh, I see. One of the films that was announced. I gotta get Brian only in here. eighteen minutes exists of a sixty-five minute film. Yeah. But it's Lois Weber, and you know, she's a goddess. Well, wait a minute. I looked at this list and I'm going, you know, I don't know if for for the future we need to preserve Shrek. Or darkness. <laughs> <laughs> or wait a minute, here are a couple more. Let me let me put it over here so I can be looking at you more. Suspense. I don't. Uh, that, that film's an old film. I, I maybe it's supposed to. I don't know. No, just Kid, a film. Kid auto races at Venice in 1914. Oh yeah. Thank you. Do you know that film? Well, it's Charlie Chaplin's <laughs> first film. What? Kid auto races at Venice? Yeah, it was his first film. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, then I guess it's a, we've got to read. They sent him out to Venice, California, put him in the costume, and let him run around and. A kid order race. Yeah. There, there's the Cabin in the Sky, which was a great film, I think. You know, it deserves it. Man with the Golden Arm? Uh, maybe, yeah. You know, mm. it's its place in history. Uh, uh, Lilies of the Field? Who makes these picks? And what's the criteria for picking them? Yeah, what are they? They're friends of yours, aren't they, Shaggy? You <laughs> nominate them, and I have no idea after that. <laughs> this sounds totally random. What's wrong with Lilies in the Field? It's just it's a random list of movies. It has a black person in it, Charlie. <laughs> oh, that, oh that, we shouldn't have it. We shouldn't have it. It's a in it. You know. Uh, let me you know, National Lampoon's Vacation will be on the list next year. You know. <laughs> I like that one. The Clockwork Orange. That's okay. Now, you want a black <laughs> but, but Clockwork movie. Orange or British film? Maybe I don't yeah. have thinking. Oh, are these supposed to be American films? Yeah. Yeah. The Clockwork Orange was British for sure. Well, yeah, but it yeah. was released by an American company. It was a Kubrick. Wasn't it a Kubrick film? Right, so yeah, Kubrick, but he's yeah. an American. He's uh, Kubrick's a... officially American, right? He's an expatriate. But... Yeah, but the... And Warner Brothers released it, which is an American company. Over here. So, you know. Uh, but anyway, uh, after, uh, mm. one for, if you want a black film, Charlie. Oh, okay. yeah. Here's one for you, and this I don't disagree with this one. Sweet, sweet back's badass song. It's a good movie. What year was that? Uh, um, Mark Van they, Peoples was the uh, was the director. What, what year, Alex? No, he makes good movies. Seventy-two. Alex, what I think. year? It's like what seventy-one or seventy-two, right? It was 1971. Yeah, oh, it's a good movie. And I I knew um, uh, Van Peoples back in the day when he was doing this film. Uh, but it, it is a, I would say, one of the first really black exploitation films. Uh, and I, I think it should be on there. Watt Stacks. I think they really got, they really felt they had to put in black stuff this year. Uh, well, well, there's one the film, it's a 1929 travelogue that apparently is not even on IMDb because no one has ever heard of it. Really? The like, I think it's called Kara and Somebody Traveling Somewhere. Yeah, the grease. Oof. Yeah, grease. Yeah, <laughs> grease. <laughs> yeah, no, no Rudy Ray Moore movies. No, no Ray. Ray, you know you're into movies and stuff. Does it do any? Some of these make sense to you? Does the Blues Brothers deserve to be on the list of uh, the film registry? Yes. Uh, yeah, definitely. Awesome. Blues Brothers. Uh, well, I mean it's. What, what what were you talking about? I was daydreaming over here. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna wake you up, man. <laughs> is Adam, is the film House registry of like what? Film <laughs> <laughs> registry of films. <laughs> <laughs> that seems totally arbitrary to me. I mean, is Animal House in? Okay, Blues Brothers. <laughs> well, it's, it was Belushi, he's sort of a legend, you know. It's kind of like. But, uh, I mean, I have nothing against John Belushi. Why is he a legend? Well, I know. Why is he a legend? Because he dead. died early. Because he died by, you know, with a speedball and his whatever. Yeah, I know. That's why. I mean, he everybody... was funny as shit. That's why he's a legend. He was, but so many people are, you know, it's like, it's like JFK. And, and why he was do doing people TV. Say, I don't know, man. TV, movies, and music. Belushi had, a lot of, Belushi had a lot of talent, I think. 
Mm -hmm. I look at my generation. Well, the 1941 will be on the list next year. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 1942. 1941. Chris Farley has the same, the same following in my in my circles. Chris Farley yep. is like John, John yeah. Belushi, same thing. The outrageous, just yeah. balls to the wall, um, go for it. You know, but Farley uh, was just <laughs> copying Belushi. Yeah, yeah. Well, Belushi was yeah. so huge in his day. It was. Yeah. Remember, remember, he was doing movie, he was doing TV, and he was doing music. Yep. Yep. And he was doing drugs. The Canadian version and of that. Drugs. And he was doing drugs. Yeah. Doing drugs. <laughs> well, I mean, they, they, they always, once uh, Belushi passed away, then they, they put, um, what's his name on there? They always had, like, replacements. The second one was Chris Farley, and who was the one before him? In Planes, Trains, and Automobiles with... Uh, oh, Andy. 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 Yeah, John, so it was John Candy, and, and then it was Belushi. Chris Farley. They always they were the Belushi stand-ins. I don't. I, John Candy was different than Belushi. John Candy was. Well, he, he, I, I agree. I agree. Just because he was big, but he. I don't. I don't see him as a as another Belushi. Chris Farley, yes. Yeah. No, Candy no, was, was. What I said was John like, Candy's the Canadian Belushi. Candy was more like Gleason and his. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So, I would agree with that. Was Andy was Saturday smart. He wasn't. That Candy was copying him. I, I I just meant that Saturday Night Live wanted that big kind of like powerful comic. But Candy grandiose. never did. Oh, no, he did SCTV. Yeah, he was. Where he did a gazillion characters, right? Yeah. He's pretty beloved up here. Oh yeah, absolutely. But, oh, Candy? but when you look at when you look at Belushi versus you know John Candy being the Canadian Belushi, I still stand by that statement. When I look at stereotypes between I, Americans, I would and Canadians, agree with you. That in, in a way, however, Belushi, Belushi had a different reason for existence. Uh, oh God, here even more people. Do you know this is maybe an all-time record? <laughs> <laughs> we, won't, we won't need you soon. We won't need you. However, if you add one, you'll subtract one. Tony doesn't. See really, you, Tony doesn't really. Count, okay. Limit, Tony. What is that mask you have on you? What is that? It's peanuts. Oh, we do. Yo, I is love it, this mask. Well, we just lost Tony. See, Tony's peanuts. outside peanuts. and I'm in his house. He's got peanuts. peanuts. <laughs> Taking care of his oh, mom. He needed a break. <laughs> lock, lock the door and run for it. I'm going to put our numbers in. I know you're going to, every, every, every time I do this show, you're walking down the street, take, going to go make your mother into a major gambler. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you ever, I got it. Yeah. Well, she can't really see that good. So my sister's over there now. I left soup on the stove. So she's monitoring. And she's having, you know what's for dinner tonight? Beef soup and a matzo with butter. And by the, way, young, uh, by the way, this a couple of minutes of, of just this couple of seconds of you is yeah. the most content we've had on this program all day. <laughs> It's cold. <laughs> I, Alex, I heard you say, is he locked in the city down the whole way? Yeah. I'm going to buy milk later and eggs and if I think it's going to be a bum <laughs> rush in that place. Toilet paper. Toilet paper. Toilet paper. Yeah, oh, Tony, is there anything you want me to tell your mother? A second. Tony, <laughs> buy, a pulse. Me, buy toilet paper because if you don't, oh, I gotta lie. if yeah. you don't, because of your profession, your current profession, you're not going to be happy. In your hand. <laughs> and Alex, like, she you want so much toilet paper. I got a plunger in the shower. Well, let me talk about the toilet paper for a moment because I just had a. We'll get back to the movies in a second. I had a thing with with Marjorie about toilet paper earlier today. I said, "How much toilet paper do we have left?" And she says, "Well, we have a whole bunch in the closet." And I went in the closet. She showed it to me, and there was like one big giant thing of it. Okay, so I got to get more of that. And I said, how are you doing on bounty paper towels? She has hoarded more bounty paper <laughs> towels. The quick to pick her up, I used to spill stuff on the table. Just and your this. point is? And my point is, good, because we can use it as toilet paper at some point. You know, little, you say no, Scott? I got to clog a toilet. Oh, we'll cl oh, oh, yeah. we'll clog a toilet, yeah. yeah. Huh. Anyway, let me get back to these movies because we spent forever on the Blues Brothers. God, was that a... <laughs> <laughs> it had a lot of good Blues music. Brothers. I never heard yeah. of What's Losing Ground? Well, I don't know. Have you, have you ever heard of it, Shecky? No. Well, Shecky's frozen for the moment. I don't know why. No, I'm not Andrew Cromo's freezing the internet. 
Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, let me see here. Uh, either that or it looked like you had a stroke. Check. Um, check luck club. Uh, wow. Ridiculous. Please, just a little thing. A Amy Tan. Yeah. Um, the Devil Never Never Sleeps. Sleeps. What was that? Was that a Bogart film? Which one? The Devil Never Sleeps. No, I never heard of it. I think it was a Bogart film. No, no it's not a Bogart no, film. No, it's not. Okay. What list is this? This is the 25 films that have been added to the United a States. A Library of Congress film registry. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. By the way, they, they bought a whole bunch of your films. Why do you think exactly? any 25 movies? Was it, was it the, the Library of Congress that bought all your films? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, all these. It's still sitting in storage because they can't arrange the transfer at the moment. Yeah, but did you get the check? No. Oh, <laughs> oh shit! Don't let him watch. I'm sorry, Alex. <laughs> you won't be getting that money. Oh, okay. The Hurt Locker. I never yeah. saw that. Isn't that oh, that's a, a good movie. movie. Really good movie. Yeah. It's yeah. a good movie, but isn't a little too new to kind of say, okay, let's put it in the film oh, registry. You know. Uh, Dark Knight. It's a female director. Oh, that's Bigelow, I think. I like Strange Days. Yeah. She did that one. Yeah. Dark Knight? Absolutely. Like yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Now, but I don't know. Shecky, in, in your estimation, because I consider him the real expert here, in your, in your estimation, what makes a film qualify for this? I mean, in your mind, if you, if you made up qualifications, would The Dark Knight yet qualify for something like that? Not at this point, because it's been preserved by Warner Brothers. It's, it should be films more or less pre-19, let's say, 60. Yeah, there should be a cutoff date on these things. But they can do a TV special, and Dark Knight is on there, and Blues Brothers is on there, where nobody gives a blank about some silent movie from 1924. Well, what they care about is the cash they're going to get for the special. Right, and there is going to be a special. There will be a special. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Cabin um, in the Sky. Dark Knight, yeah. huh. On the Dark Knight, I can go as deep. I can go really, really, really deep on this one. Um, but at the end of the day, I think Shecky's exactly right. It's what qualifies the movie. Now, from, from, a, from a, a comic book movie standpoint, mm -hmm. that movie has a lot of, of stuff going for it. From a technical standpoint, that movie has a lot going for it. So if they're trying to capture a moment in time based on those things, as well as the cultural part of it, um, yeah. I 100% agree with it. But it, again, it all comes back to the criteria. Yeah. yeah, but I think they want people to show up now maybe via Zoom who appeared in the movie, which you can't do with someone from the 30s who's been dead for 25 years. Yeah, You can, it's just really hard to look at. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta get a shovel. Dark Knight, Michael. <laughs> you know, Jackie also turned me on to something. You can go see it on on YouTube called Hedda Hopper's Hollywood, which crazy uh, show. <laughs> but it wasn't bad. No. You know, it really. She had gotten some amazing people. Well, she called get... in all her favors, as you can notice. Yeah, but she did. For instance, the part that got me that I thought was kind of amazing. Ben Hur. Ben Hur. She got Stephen Boyd and uh, who was in the Bush original play Masala in, in, in the Ben-Hur that Charlton Heston did. And mm -hmm. then Francis X. Bushman, who played the same part in the, what year was the first one? 25. 1925 Ben-Hur. Oh. And then also the guy who played Ben-Hur, Raymond From Navarro. Navarro. Uh, all well, all you together. Know, murder, I that was an amazing. Rough what? Ramon Navarro got murdered about 10 years later by Rough Trade he picked up. Oh, really? Was he gay? Oh, Rough Trade. <laughs> rough Trade. Is that, is, that's an old term, isn't it? I guess. But yeah, he, he picked up some guy, you know, off the streets and he murdered him. Wow. Wow. Hmm. 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 Oh, One reason he lost his MGM contract in 33. Why? It's because he was gay. Oh, I thought it was because he died. <laughs> no, he died in 67 or 80. I thought because they, he wait a minute, they, they, He lost his contract because he was gay? Wouldn't that well, lose... So Billy Haynes. Yeah, but wait a minute. 
if if that was the criterion for losing your job at MGM, they would have lost half their roster. Well, because their films were doing, their contracts were too expensive. Yeah. You know, we've talked about John Gilbert, oh, who I wasn't okay. gay, All right. but he's the most highly paid person at MGM at that point. So you ruined it. So Louis B., you know. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, I, 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 that's, um, it, 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 there were a lot of people back in those days, though, that were gay. I mean, people you wouldn't think were gay. Yeah, but if their films weren't making tons of money, like, like just throwing out a name, Greta Garbo, Marlena Dietrich, you know, whatever. They were okay because they made money for the studio. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so uh, all they had to do was not say publicly that they were gay. Right. Or George Cukor one of the best directors in the world, you know, had those Sunday parties with the gays. King Vidor was, wasn't he? No. No. No, George Cukor. George Cukor. Rock Hudson. Yeah. Kathleen, turn off your microphone. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Rock Hudson's another one. Well, yeah, Hudson. but no, George Cukor had the Sunday parties where he invited all the young gay men in Hollywood. Yeah. To come out at the pool. Yeah. Hey, I have but a his question for Shecky. So okay. nobody cared. Ray has a question for you. I have a question for you, Shecky. So when I was a kid, my grandmother told me that Rock Hudson was gay. I mean, years before. Oh, yeah. Okay. And so, like, when he, when he died and people were so surprised, I was like, I thought everybody knew. I mean, did, did, like, my grandmother, go, when I was a kid, she goes, you know, he's a little light in his loafers. <laughs> yeah, but he never admitted to being homosexual. No. They made him marry his secretary in yeah. like 54. four. So they put up the cover story. So why did my grandmother know? Was there like was it well, like I mean, common knowledge at one point? Probably read Confidential or something. Oh, I see. A variety. Yeah. She dated well, him. Was that Rock Hudson denied his being gay, uh, primarily because. Uh, in those days, you, it was thought that if you said you were gay or they knew you were gay, then there were parts you just couldn't get anymore. You couldn't become the... Right, lady. he couldn't play the Doris Day movies, let's say. Yeah. You know, pillow talk and things. You yeah. The time. It's like everybody knew, but you just kind of didn't say anything, like Liberace and those people. Right, yeah. yeah. Lee wasn't gay. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Name a couple <laughs> of names of, of actors who were gay that people wouldn't know were gay. I had no idea Rock Hudson was. I was totally blindsided. I know. I told totally you. Really? Totally. Yeah. Really? And then my, you know, I'm at my parents having dinner, and you know, the joke was he had been with uh, Jim Neighbors, and so my stupid brother Mike sitting next to me going, "Golly!" <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were well, blind. I interviewed. I interviewed Rock Hudson's boyfriend, who um, got something or other. Uh, Scott, uh, I'm trying to remember his name now, but he told me about the night he found out about it. What he did is he he was watching the news, and Rock had gone to Paris. And what he did is he went to the Pasteur Clinic, and it was announced he was gay and that he had AIDS. And he said, I said, what was it like at that precise moment? He says, the whole room seemed to, impl you know, kind of like implode. I it just it was the weirdest feeling I've ever had in my life because now he had the fear that he had it as well. Mm -hmm. However, he never got it. And I asked him the big question that most people except wow. myself would be afraid to ask him. I said, okay, you didn't get it. Now, let me ask you, did you accept or receive? <laughs> and he said, because usually if, if you received, you had a better chance of getting it uh, than if you gave it okay and he said we used to trade off oh. so he really dodged a major bullet and i don't think he ever came down with it <laughs> you know so <clears throat> but um who are some people that these people would be amazed to find out shecky was gay Paul uh, Lynn. If, so because i can think of really? names of people you've never heard nobody here has ever heard well of. i can throw one out that everybody would be amazed by spencer tracy really a parent, a parent. yeah i heard that i heard Hepburn. it from you alex <laughs> um and Catherine uh, Hepburn was a lesbian 
the cat in this room was a lesbian? Or bisexual, you know. Yeah. Um, and of course, Greta Garbo and Marlena Dietrich. But that's been really fun place. if you were a woman to have her go down on you with those shakes, you know? <laughs> oh, I'm terrible. I am terrible. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting Chinese food. You're getting Chinese food. You know, it's really I'm exciting so Tony does add to the show. In fact, Tony, to make up for you, yeah. what, we, what uh, 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 Ray is uh, blue screening or green screening and back of himself is your wallpaper. <laughs> <laughs> and your mom is with me right here. She's got to look better. Do you want me to tell her anything? <laughs> tell him if you want an egg drop soup or wonton. I'm getting egg drop. He's getting uh, you want wonton. Uh, how much is the total? <laughs> I gotta talk to his friends. He's afraid to get it. I gotta throw three the money. Seconds. She only check it. We it will get. It will. Is is how risky kind of our version of of uh, of Forrest de Calvert? Um. Oh. Calvert, Calvert DeForest. Calvert DeForest. I got it the wrong. Oh, okay. I got a social distance. It, 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 Calvert DeForest. He's kind of our Calvert DeForest. He has that same <laughs> quality. You know. Our man you, know who was, you know who Calvert's uncle was? Uh, it, he was Lee DeForest. Yes. Who invented the vacuum tube. Yeah. Wow. But, Damn it, Jim. Uh, but Calvert <laughs> was, uh, was, what was the part he played on, on Letterman? Uh, Alex, but, I, $16 but, but, for an egg drop soup with fried hold rice. On, hold on a second. Yeah. What, was, what was the name he used? Okay, what's Larry, Bud Bud Larry Bud Melman. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. He was he, very funny. Very yeah. funny. But Until I mean, he was, he was he funny because name. he was kind of weird like Tony. <laughs> um, Tony Gann here. I thought you were going to say Tony was our Rock Hudson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, but anyway um so oh Clif clifton webb clifton webb uh, that clifton i and web oh god mm -hmm. uh, didn't you didn't know that charlie well i mean he did have kind of feminine characteristics but he yes, always he did no, no crap <laughs> yeah yeah but didn't he do cheaper by the dozen he was the father in that one no yeah, he had 12 kids or whatever it was. Yeah. Well, Jack Bishop, who does a show on, on GabNet, uh, is always, was always amazed when I told him how gay uh, 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 Perry Mason was. Uh, Raymond oh, Raymond Burr? Raymond yeah. Burr? Yeah. Oh, man. I, yeah. Raymond Burr? I, oh, I was devastated what? when I found out. Oh. So was I. Don't tell me you were devastated by that, Charlie. There are important well, I grew up watching Perry Mason. <laughs> I have every Perry Mason episode. Oh, I like Perry Mason. <laughs> Solves a mystery. Mm. Where's my food? <laughs> the one that shocked me. My, mine was a music industry one. When I found out Rob Halbert, or Halford from yeah. Judas Priest, that one there hit me right between the eyes. Uh, <laughs> and I haven't been able to listen to his music the same way. Uh, I can still appreciate it, of course, but it's it's just it, it different. Yeah, that, that's the thing. When, in music, when, like, like you know, and everybody knew George Michael's, whatever he was into, but, but you know, when you hear those songs again, so I told Tiffany, there, there's one song uh, that George Michael did, and the, these other girls were singing it, and I said, you know, that song was written by a guy, and she says, oh, yeah, and I said, yeah, and it's for another guy. It was last, <laughs> last Christmas. It was last Christmas, you know, da, 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 I gave you my heart. And I said, that was for another guy. <laughs> huh? Do you remember when Frankie Goes to Hollywood came out with Relax? Oh, <laughs> and no, people didn't know that was gay? <laughs> How about Turning Japanese? Turning Japanese? No, that, no, that wasn't gay. No. no. <laughs> erasure, erasure was a, back in the 80s. Big yeah. like that. Well, you know, I mean... Do we care anymore? Oh, we met Rick. We yeah. lost Rick. That's who I don't. Know if there's anything wrong with that? Yeah. I don't know why anyone would care. Wrong with that. Yeah, here we go. Here's back. Well, now you're okay, Rick. You were. Yeah. Good. The the ghost of Harry May of Raymond Burr threw us out. <laughs> <laughs> In oh, my shit. circles, they say Tom Cruise, but uh, hey, Marjorie, oh, did you ever right? have anybody that you really liked a lot? that you found out was gay and it, it amazed you and bothered you? 
Marjorie, are you listening? I'm listening. Yeah, I said, did you ever have anybody oh. like that that you, you found out was gay and you were amazed? I'm sure, I just don't remember. You don't remember me? I'll come you, for us. you, you. Me, me. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And now I, I and, and now I bring to the witness stand Kathleen. Okay. <laughs> Alex I, I, I Is there a woman alive who hasn't at one time or another suspected maybe that her husband or boyfriend wasn't gay? They'd always kind of cross their mind. Was it that they weren't gay? That they were yeah, gay. Yeah, of course. Or that they were gay. That they were gay. No. Okay. No, it's any woman that wouldn't go out with you. She must be a lesbian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I've heard Ellen DeGeneres is gay, but I'm not sure yeah. about that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I heard Elton John was too, but I don't believe it. Yeah. Uh, I kind yeah. of outed Ellen because I knew Ellen was gay. Okay. But the rest of the world didn't. She didn't, never said it openly. And um, when we, uh, on my radio show in San Francisco, we're talking one day about, you know, some people who could come out and really help mm. the gay community by coming out. I said, if, Ellen DeGeneres would only come out, she would do a great deal of good. And uh, uh, she wasn't out at that time, oh, but I said it anyway. And a couple of months later, she came out. And the truth of the matter is, she did help. I mean, she was a big help in, in doing away with the prejudice against the idea of somebody being gay. Now you find out somebody's gay, and I don't even care if you're homophobic. Uh, you just don't go crazy over it, you know? It's just, okay, well, they do what they do. And look at what we've got. We've got a whole country that basically any a gay person can get married in almost any state in this country now. Oh. Thanks to who? Donald Trump. No. <laughs> <laughs> the governor of California. Gavin, Gavin Newsom. Newsom. Gavin Newsom is the first public official that made get, being married and gay legal in his jurisdiction, San Francisco, when he was the mayor. Yes, Charlie. I, actually, they can get married in any state, any state in the union, because that was a Supreme Court decision. So it, it, they can get married anywhere now. Yeah, you cannot ban same-sex marriage. Well, you know, Albert and I were going to get married once. <laughs> I know, I remember that. That was great. Well, what happened was they, they opened up a gay marriage, uh, same-sex marriage in uh, New York City, and they had a, a, a raffle for the first 500 people to be able to get married in City Hall as part of the gay marriage thing. Uh, so uh, just for the hell of it, Albert and I put our names in, and we won the lottery. <laughs> <laughs> So now I remember I, this. Yeah. Yeah. Now I go to 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 uh, uh, and so I said, "You want to do it, Albert?" He said, "Sure. Why not? You know, just for the taxes alone. You know, we're it's good." So plus you get half the stuff. I said, "You know, you don't have to sleep with me, Albert. That's not what we're trying to do here. We're trying to just say we're two people who are same sex who want to get married. Are you gay? No. We just want to be married. All right. So we go to serious and we say will you back us on this thing if we do it and we'll and we'll promote the whole thing and so on and you'll get a lot of publicity because it'll be like these are two guys who are absolutely straight who are getting married and it will make all you know wouldn't that make the newspapers you know they say they're straight and they, they say said, now you don't want to do it <laughs> and i went this is insane you know and they also suggested that we better not do it <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. And I'm going, we won the lottery. It's the only lottery I ever won for crying out loud. <laughs> oh, we didn't get married. And he went off and married somebody else, damn it. And I so did you. Huh? As did I. Yeah, yeah. But did we, he leave we, you at the we altar? We see each other every now and then. So, you know, it's. Uh, Wh which one of you did well, better? Which one of us did what? Better? Better. <laughs> what? Who we married? Yes. 
I better say I did. You better, you better, you better be right. There's going to be a shoe. There'll be a shoe coming through that door. Yeah. yeah. Come to, I'm going to have my uh, my uh, dinner laced with something tonight. Sinai. Yeah, Sinai. But, uh, no, you know, I, I we just felt that this whole idea that you had to be gay to have a same-sex marriage, and, and nobody said you had to. No. You know. Um, you were around for that, weren't you, Marjorie? I remember it. I remember it well. Yeah, yeah. And I, I remember How did you feel about the fact that I might wind up marrying Albert? Oh, you know what it was I wanted Sirius <laughs> to pay for? It was the annulment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because, I, you know, I said I want to marry him for the sake of marrying him, and then I, we don't want to be married anymore. We want to get it annulled. Who was it would have been easy to get annulled because we're we're not in any way going to consummate that marriage. <laughs> who was going to pay for the veil? <laughs> yeah, who, who was going to sign on the bride side? <laughs> I wish Albert had called, had called today because we could have really talked about this in in the big time. How many people do we have here now? We have fifteen. Fifteen. 15. Yeah, 15. Oh, that's a lot of people, folks. Mm -hmm. oh. hmm? It's a full moon. It is a full moon. It is a full moon. Uh, <laughs> by the way, uh, uh, we haven't heard much from Edward today because we aren't doing cartoons. But, uh, how are you doing, uh, Edward? You live here in New York, don't you? Right, I'm living over in Flushing. Uh, out in Flushing. Flushing, right, right. You know uh -huh. what I want you to do? There are certain words they say are Jerry Lewis words. Uh -huh. Okay. And they all happen to be the name of drugs. Uh-huh. Okay. So, for instance, uh, try this one. Riboflavin. Riboflavin. <laughs> <laughs> Better than you, Alex. It is. Right. Well, he's he's yeah. naturally got the voice for it. Yeah. yeah. Um, what, was, what, what, what We came up with one in the essay. Rebelson. Is it rebel? Is that is the name of the new drug? Rebelson. Yeah. Say Rebelson. Rebelson. <laughs> oh man! Fun with Edward Berger's voice. Is that That's really a... naturally your voice? Well, it was when I woke up. I don't know. <laughs> That's a great voice. Yeah. Wow. Couldn't you do cartoons? Uh, totally. Uh, make a lot of money in cartoons. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh man, I'm new here. I thought I thought he was in cartoons. I thought you were serious. Yeah. Oh, you know, I was watching a, a show on Showtime, and there's some director that has my name. Oh, Edward Berger. Yeah. Really? It's a, wow. He's a German director or something. Yeah. Uh, Andrew, how's everything out in uh, out in uh, out in Ohio uh, out there? Is it uh, is anybody trying to like kidnap? Uh, electors or anything like that and do anything <laughs> nasty? Well, no, because the idiots voted for Trump in this state. So yeah. so there was no fraud because, you know, Trump won. Yeah, there was no There's fraud. only fraud in states where he yeah. loses. Yeah. <laughs> you have to follow, you got to follow the logic. Right. I think that, uh, I think just, just to have a little fun, <clears throat> um, uh, Biden should have gone into Ohio and said, I want to recount. <laughs> you know, just, I wanted one just to be pissy, you know. Just to <laughs> we have those that Jim Jordan guy. You should see what his district is shaped like. <laughs> really? Well, there are snakes that are jealous <laughs> at that district. They wish they looked like that. Gerrymandering to the max, huh? Oh, beyond beyond. If if it wasn't gerrymandered, uh, we would have. Probably almost a 50 50 in, in our Congress and Senate in the state. But because of the gerrymandering, it's impossible for a Democrat yeah. to, to control the, the yeah. either, either House or Senate in the state. Wow. Well, they're it's they're casting the votes right now, right? The Electoral College? Yes. Yeah, they're doing the Electoral College today. Yeah. yeah. So far, we're well, at. Like, uh, I Trump is refusing to pay, I think, Michigan for the recount because he lost again. <laughs> apparently if you have a recount you have to pay for it if you're yes. the one recount. I thought he had to pay Here's, it up front well, yeah. you know, I'll, I'll go ahead I'll go ahead and pay for it I, I'll tell you though Shaq it depends on the state some states like Georgia do the recount uh, in Wisconsin he had to pay for it 
So yeah. he could only afford maybe, two districts. Then maybe it was Wisconsin. Wherever there's one of those states, he'd initially know Wisconsin, that they've still got a bill out for him to pay. Oh, he's yeah. Not paying. Yeah. It, it may, he's, they, just, he, they should go talk to some of the contractors they, that work so fast. I can introduce you to some. Yeah. How yeah. It is not as only to get paid. Sure. I know many people he owes money to. Yeah. 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 Many, many people. Many, many. Big dollars, yeah. Many, many people have said I owe Many, money. many. Yeah. You know, and then not to get too political, we're after this Hunter Biden character. But what about Trump's three crooked children? Yeah. yeah. He wants cool. to get pardons. Well, let's hear what, what the offense is. Well, Hunter Biden did business in China. Wait yeah. a minute. So did well, wait a minute. So did Ivanka. Ivanka, yeah. Yeah. Got something like 20 licenses. Yeah, on her yeah. clothing line. Yeah, and the and the voting machine she invented. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I hate though is that the the voting system that they used in this country in most states was called Dominion. It sounds like some kind of evil empire or something. Yeah. You know, it has a horrible the evil. Sounds like name. a Jewish word. Yeah. That's, that's the name of the gas company for my house, Dominion right. Gas. Let's just try this. Edward, say Dominion. Dominion. <laughs> and then I read Stephen Miller, if that's his name, mm -hmm. wants a different slate of electors ready to go when Congress votes in January that they can bring in their slate of electors. Yeah, you said they're going to do that, right? They're going to send in this alternative slate of electors as if that's going to any, make any difference to anybody. So built on alternative facts. Couldn't he just spend a little more time figuring out what to do about coronavirus? You know, just Steve Miller's just trying to figure out how to kill people that don't look like him. So. Exactly. Yeah. The, the, the thing Brown in New York. The thing in New York is Jared and um, Ivanka are not welcome back here, so yeah. you will not see them in New York. They're already no, looking at she's gonna run land. For, She's going to run for something in Florida when they move down there. She wants to run for president. <clears throat> what are you digging yeah. into there, Scott? Snacks. What kind of snack? <laughs> it looks like you were doing ice cream. What is oh, that? they look nice. Ritz on a uh, peanut butter on a Ritz. Okay. Chits on a Ritz. Chits <laughs> Don't on a Ritz. go bad with that. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Hungry. You saw Ivanka bought 140 acres on Billionaire's Island. Right. I think Bob Denver and Jim Backus used to live there. But <laughs> 30, 39. <laughs> 39 million they're paying for the land. Yeah. How much? Seems fair. 39 million. Wow. Just for the land. Wow. Where did they and Tom go? Brady's moving in next week, too. Now, I, I, bet, I bet they're richer than, than Daddy is. They made $74 they real million. I think dollars you're richer than year. Trump is. Yeah. The U.S. government. Doesn't Kushner actually own half of New York? Like the slum. Real estate. Well, he owns a couple of pieces, some pieces of real estate, but nothing special. Yeah. He owns a lot of special real estate. Oh, he really? owns them in places like Baltimore, where he's really been terrible with the tenants. <laughs> yeah. You know, he's a where did all that money come Lord. from? He is. Yeah. Just Andrew, like Trump. Where did the money come from? Show me the money, Andrew. The money? Yeah. Show me the it's money. Somewhere around here. Hold on. Let me look. <laughs> anyway, reading today, it's still illegal to have a relative in the White House as one of your advisors, but Trump just never cared. Yeah. Oh, yeah. hey, we've been joined by Jeff Stein. He's been here the whole time, Alex. He has yeah. Yeah. Yes, Jeff he has. hasn't said anything. Hold on, everybody be quiet. Jeff hasn't said anything all day, and I forgot he was even here. There are so many he people. He has his hand raised. Yes, Jeff. A crowded place. <laughs> I know that today we're actually people are getting injected with yeah. the new drug. Yeah, yeah. Throughout the United States is fantastic. They did yeah. it today in New York, yeah. Yes, it's the Trump vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> well you need Trump vaccine for the Trump virus. <laughs> you gotta remember they're injecting yes. with microchips. Yeah. So they can that be where all of them are. However, they forgot that really most of those people who are being stuck with microchips carry one of these around. What's that? A, an, a, a, an iPhone. iPhone. Oh. You know. Uh, so, oh, let's see here. Oh, Andrew Cuomo has uh, 
was presented with the award for inspired leadership by the Edward M. Kennedy Foundation. Hmm. And also on the uh, Hit Up on Women Award from, from, from Bill Cosby. That's really a <laughs> good one. Anyway, hey, listen, we, you know, we, the hour has just flown by. Mm-hmm. And you are the nicest bunch of people that I could ever have in one place. And, and say that to Steve everybody. hasn't said a That's word, true. but I hope you've That's enjoyed true. the show, Steve. <laughs> oh. Okay, he waved at us. He's in his truck. We don't want to lose his attention. And audio issues. Oh, that's okay. Nice having you here, Steve. Nice having Mike here and Edward Berger and Jeffrey Stein and Andrew Deutsch and Charlie Wallace and Scott Boddicker and Kathleen and Marjorie and Steve and Tony and Steve. Uh, no, Tony. Uh, Tony. Well, Tony went away. Oh, okay. all right. That's well, he got his Chinese food, so he was he done got with the that. Chinese food, and he split. Uh, uh, Tony's mom's caretaker, uh, right there, uh, Ray Renati, Steve Bender. Thank you so much, and Brian Neary. A big thank you to you too, Brian. I always appreciate it. And of course, the lovely and attractive Rick Sheckman, uh, uh, the only f- best friend I have left. Okay, <laughs> all the others have died off. All right, and then and I said Marjorie Miller, didn't I? I don't think so. Marjorie Marjorie Miller, who refuses to be called Marjorie Schwartzman. (laughs) You see my point? Yeah, she's my point. (laughs) Right? What? You gotta spell that every time somebody asks you, oh, what's your last name? You gotta sit there and spell it out. Oh my God. Miller is so much easier. May the Schwartz be with you. May the Schwartz (laughs) be with you. Everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye as well. And so long to all the people who are watching us at the present time. We love having you here. And thank you for being part of our show. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thanks, everybody.